Got lots of NASCAR news and some personal news so let's just get straight into this. So first set of news is about me real quick, so I got a new computer so expect possible gameplay and gameplay in the background of these news videos, alright onto the news everyone actually cares about, the following is all reported by Jayski, so everyone's been wondering what car number Jimmy Johnson will be using. Well GMS President Mike Beam might have just given us a clue. Quote, Once we made the announcement with Jimmy, people started connecting the dots, 7 times 7 is 49. While this isn't a fic I think there is a good chance of 49 being his number, which I personally like the idea of 7 times 7 is incredible so hopefully he drives the 49, some Xfinity silly season news. Joe Groff Jr. will not return to the number 07 SS Greenlight Racing Ford in 2023, as announced on video by team owner Bobby Doctor ending a three-year relationship, quote, as we close out another season, it's time for change here, we've had three great years with Joe Groff Jr. and his family, and I can't say enough for him, how happy I was to work with him, and how grateful I am for everything they've done for us. But, it's time for some new change. So we'll be looking at some different drivers next year, Joe Groff Jr. is expected to announce his 2023 plans soon, now here is the video. I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all the gang here at SS Greenlight Racing. As we close out another season, it's a time for change here. We've had three great years with Joe Graff Jr. and his family, can't say enough for him and how happy I was to work with them and how grateful I am for everything they've done for us. But it's time for some new change. So we'll be looking at some different drivers next year. We had an excellent year last year with getting our first team win. Joe showed a lot of signs of speed. And I think we've got the, what it takes to move this team up the ladder. And hopefully this year proves we can do it. So I'm very excited about the coming year. I hope everyone has a great holiday. I'm very thankful for the people that were able to stick with me through this all. And we got the bulk of the team still here, so we're ready to move on to our next adventure. So I want to thank everyone and say happy holidays. Now some news that isn't exactly NASCAR but I'll still just throw it in. The Superstar Racing Experience has revealed their 2023 schedule all of the times are Eastern Time. Stafford and Del Doro come back being the only track to be on all three seasons of SRX, new additions being Thunder Road Speed Bowl, Motor Mile Speedway, and Berlin Raceway, and finally Lucas Oil returns after not being in the 2922 season. More Xfinity news, Stefan Parsons is returning to Alpha Prime Racing for a part-time schedule in 2023. It's a huge boost to our program to keep a driver like Stefan in the building APR Vice President David Sildhaus said, quote, His talent brought some incredible results to our team in 2022 and he believes in what we are building here at April we look at Stefan as a core piece of our upwards growth trajectory and bringing him back to our roster was a top priority this offseason. Stefan Parsons made 12 starts for the team in 2022 with an amazing 8th place finish at Bristol. Stefan Parsons said I'm super excited to be able to call Alpha Prime home again in 2023, I can't wait to build on the momentum we gained in the last half of 2022. None of this would be possible without the incredible support of Tommy Joe and Caesar at APR, Mark Sicklin and Melissa Clark. I'm so thankful for this opportunity to continue representing Sicklin and Alpha Prime Racing. We still do not know what races and sponsors he'll have in 2023. Some LA Clash news. NASCAR releases eligibility in format for the Clash at the Coliseum. Eligibility includes all of the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series charter team owners and associated NASCAR Cup Series drivers. 2023 NASCAR Cup Series Open team owners and associated NASCAR Cup Series drivers are eligible to enter and compete for the four additional starting positions. Qualifying for the event, single vehicle qualifying will occur on Saturday, February 4 following the scheduled practice. Qualifying will be single vehicle one round, three laps, one warm up, two timed. Qualifying order will be determined by 2022 owner points lowest to highest. If there are more than 40 entries to this event, the fastest four open teams will transfer into the heat races. The heat races, 
only completed green flag laps will be counted toward the official race distance heat race lineups will be set by qualifying fastest qualifier, pull for heat 1 second fastest qualifier, pull for heat 2 third fastest qualifier, pull for heat 3 fourth fastest qualifier, pull for heat 4, etc. The top 5 from each race advance through to the clash remaining 5 finishing positions from each heat continue through to the last chance qualifier race 1 and the last chance qualifier race 2 with their starting position being determined by where they finished in their heat races. The last chance race 1, those that did not advance from heat 1 and 3. The 6th place finisher from heat 1 will be on the pole. The 6th place finisher from heat 3 will be on the outside pole. Lineup. Inside row positions 6 to 10 from heat number 1. Outside row positions 6 to 10 from heat number 3. Last chance race 2, those that did not advance from heat 2 and 4. The 6th place finisher from heat 2 will be on the pole. The 6th place finisher from heat 4 will be on the outside pole. Lineup. Inside row positions 6 to 10 from heat number 2. Outside row positions 6 to 10 from heat number 4 for both last chance races. Top 3 from both LCQ1 and LCQ2 advance through to the clash. The remaining drivers are eliminated from the remainder of the event. The main event, only completed green flag laps will be counted toward the official race distance. 27 drivers will start the clash main event. 26 starting drivers are locked in through their finishes in the heat races, LCQ1, and LCQ2. 27th and final spot is reserved for the driver who finished the highest in the 2022 season point standing who did not already earn a starting position in the clash. The clash starting lineup will be set as shown on the image, now some of the NASCAR rain tires on short tracks news, they will not be used in actual rain but might be used if the track is sorta wet, I don't know how to feel about this on one side I'm thinking this could really help rain delays not take as long but on the other I remember the 2022 Daytona race, the last topic is reported by Motorsport.com, Argentine driver Baltazar Leguizamon hopes to make NASCAR debut in the 2023 Xfinity series, as he seems to be very close to being able to compete in the race. Adding to the list of international drivers wanting to drive in NASCAR, we are close to being able to race in NASCAR Xfinity next year with the MBM Motorsport, which was the team that opened the doors to the series for me, Baltazar said, a manager I had in the United States called me a little over two months ago and contacted me with the team. We were talking and as soon as the idea of what to do started to close, the team contacted me with NASCAR where I had a very important acceptance because everyone welcomed me and that was very good because it helped me to do everything quickly to get the license, he's aiming to debut at the Coda race as he's had experience at that track racing in it for Formula 4 and Formula 3. It's a serious project and the idea is to start at Coda. We are working and we are well set for that. The plan is to debut there and to be able to do the rest of this year's events on mixed circuits, Baldizar explained. I have always liked NASCAR. I always had Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon as my role models and when I heard about Richard Petty, when I was 12 years old, I started to follow him as well, or me, racing in NASCAR would be like touching the sky with my hands. From my point of view, it's the biggest thing there is, beyond Formula 1, where I was close to achieving something very important at the time. But this in NASCAR is something concrete. It is a project that I see that can be done and we are very close to being able to do it. To be able to race in NASCAR, being the first Argentinian driver in history, is a huge pride. I still don't fully understand how big it is, but it is something very big. This is good for NASCAR I love hearing international drivers being interested in racing in NASCAR that's what we need interest in the sport. What did you think of today's video? Tell me in the comments down below. Well that's all for today see you all next time, and don't forget to do the Chase Briscoe.